Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting hungry and I am so excited because someone very special to me is here in the kitchen and she's an incredibly talented chef and we've been side by side now for about three years and she's also my dear friend and I'm so excited to welcome her, please, Pilar Valdez! <laughs> someone I am always in the kitchen with. And Pilar and I bonded early on wanting to make food because I'm a, I'm a pendulum, like heavier, lighter, heavier, lighter, no pretty little middle. And what, to be lighter, I had to do that like chicken and broccoli thing and I don't think that that's sustainable for happiness. And so what I really would go off the rails is when I would do dishes that weren't chicken and broccoli. So with Pilar, we figured out how to make all these craving dishes, but in a way that's really healthy and great for digestion and keeps the weight off. I've been doing this now for a long time with you. Yeah. And I'm, I'm happy. It's amazing. You know, what's happening underneath here is horrifying, <laughs> but you know, as long as it stuffs well into clothes, I'm mean, as good as it's gonna get. Well, first off, hi Drew. Hi Millar. We're here, finally. I love you. It's amazing, thank you for having me. Tell us about the dish we're doing today. All right, so I think this dish is perfect, exactly perfect for what you were talking about. Okay, so for today, the weather is starting to get colder. We wanted something cozy, something really comforting. It's a quinoa risotto with winter squash, seared mushrooms, and fresh herbs. Mm. Delicious. Oh my God, I just totally turned <laughs> into Arthur. I was like, mmm. So, the um, kitchen cat. The risotto is traditionally made with rice, right? I'm from the Philippines, rice is queen. I'm, I'm all about rice. But sometimes we have to make adjustments in our diet. Yep. And quinoa is the most amazing substitute in this dish because it's packed with protein, it's gluten-free, it's not a grain, it's actually a seed. Yes. Um, and it has a tons of vitamins, it's really easy, it's a great thing to have in your pantry. So shall we jump in? Yes, we shall. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is actually roast your squash. For okay. this recipe, I like stuff, the thin-skinned squash, hard to say, um, delicata, honey nut, and the reason why I recommend those squashes is because when you roast them, you don't have to peel them afterwards. You can use them and eat them skin and all. And you're gonna roast them at like 400 for about 20? 20 to 30, okay. what I like to do is actually cut the squash into chunks like this, basically. Okay, I was gonna say, and poke with a fork, it have speeds, it. This speeds up the cooking time. So you're gonna cut it up, drizzle some olive oil, salt and pepper, stick it in the oven, 20 to 30, let it go and then you're gonna take it out and we're actually gonna make a puree. So you're gonna take the chunks and let's pop that in the blender, yep. lovely. And then you're gonna have some stock actually. Oh, the yeah, vegetable there stock. there you go, a little bit of vegetable stock. And we're gonna add that in. And the thing is, because this dish is uh, vegan, we're not using dairy, whoo, uh, dairy or um, cream in it. Basically, the puree acts <laughs> the pure, I'm very non-mechanical, so you've got it over there. There's the a button here and it says, <laughs> release. Release, oh, there we go, we got it. Release. Success. Um, By the, the way, now I'm doing it. Oh my God, <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah, baby. Lovely, puree's on. I love a blender. It's so good. I know, I love like, I love a hand blender. It's so, yeah, they're really useful tools. So basically, the puree is gonna act as um, that creaminess and richness in a dish, right? In the risotto, you think of risotto, it's like, has great movement, it has all these creaminess. This one has no um, dairy in it. I know, I'm also struggling. Okay, this, just, this but one. But luckily. There's no <laughs> release button. We've twist. Twist it, twist it, there you go. Oh, you mother, ah! yes! <laughs> Okay, so you're, you're gonna want it a really smooth and creamy consistency, basically. So That's what the puree looks like. This is representing Absolutely. the puree. So in the meanwhile, we had some of our quinoa going. You're good, you're good. I put it in. Fold it in, fold okay. it in, keep mixing. So the quinoa, basically, what I like to do is I start toasting it first in a dry skillet. It adds this really nice nuttiness to the dish. I have to say, I've not seen people do that. Yeah, and it's really lovely. 45 seconds in a hot, dry pan. Dry. And dry. That's Absolutely. the key. Don't That's put the, the oil in part. it. No, no oil, okay. no nothing. And then you're gonna add some liquid into that. We use vegetable stock and you're gonna bring that to a boil and then turn it down to simmer and you're gonna mix it and stir it and cook it for about 18 minutes, okay. basically. And you don't want it crunchy and you don't you, want it bleh, bleh. You definitely do not want it crunchy. You want it cooked. 
You I want think it that's looser. a term in the culinary world. <laughs> <laughs> like, absolutely. Perfect. Um, so you're gonna bring that down to a simmer and then when it's cooked fully through about 18 minutes, it's gonna have a looser consistency. So if you're thinking risotto, you know, that sort of movement. Well, and here's then, the thing about risotto is it's made with rice and yes. rice usually I have to choose after I enjoy it, do I want it on the inner thigh or the outer <laughs> thigh? Well, you don't have to you don't have to choose that with this dish no. because it's it's gluten-free, it's vegan, it's great. So we're going to take our puree. You're going to take your puree, which I've represented you're gonna fold folding it in, in basically, exactly. It does look like creamy cheese. I mean, I love a risotto, but I just can't my body, I always say my metabolism is a sloth on Valium asleep at the switch. <laughs> so I need to be able to digest and when you combine rice and a protein, your digestive tract is fighting digestion. Mm -hmm. But with quinoa, it literally, instead of sticking all over you, will move through your body in this really immaculate way. Um, and then you get this beautiful autumnal dish like this. So the other reason, Drew, why I love this puree too is that it gives that creaminess, you know, that, that comfort that you're looking for in the risotto. Yeah. Um, okay. it, feels like, it feels like a hug in a bowl is what I like to say, which is- I really love awesome. a hug in a bowl, Pilar. <laughs> I want a hug in a bowl. So if you're feeling a little fancy when you're plating, you can do little dollops of the puree if you still have some. If you don't, no worries. Am I gonna uh, start arranging these? Yes, please, arrange, arrange away. Um, now, and these we're, are trumpet mushrooms. They are trumpet mushrooms. I love mushrooms. They're one of my most favorite things. And the reason why I really like trumpet mushrooms too is that they have this very meaty uh, texture. So if you're not eating meat, it's a really good substitute. They're also really beautiful. Well, I would love like some sliced steak um, with my risotto. And then this for me really gave me that feeling. The trumpet mushrooms feel like steak in, mm -hmm. like bacon and steak yeah. together. I see why vegans like gravitate yeah. towards the mushrooms. This you can is put some delicate, mm -hmm. you know me, I love a good lemon zest, especially in the winter or the colder months when you need to perk things up. Fresh herbs go a really, really long way. Look at how gorgeous this is. All right, you ready to do a beauty shot, Pilar? Absolutely, ooh. I'll tell you another thing I love about this dish is that most risottos do not keep well. No. I mean quinoa. Yeah. This keeps really well. It I've really eaten does. it the next day and it's <laughs> delightful. And you can also use these ingredients to fold into a frittata, you Ab were saying. Absolutely. It's, it's, I feel like it's a dish that keeps on giving. You can reheat it in a pan, like with just a basic slick of water, bring to a boil, toss it all in a pan, and it just re-steams and revives I the call that thing. reconstitution. There you go. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Pilar. I love you. I love you. the life I get to live. Because of you, I've learned so much with you and from you. And I'm excited to bring what should be a really heavy, heavy dish to this lightness that is so healthy and good yeah. for your body, but still gives all of that satisfaction. So and thank it's you delicious. for the satisfaction, baby. All right.